this month's highlights coming up. It's the first round for all the motorsports events. We'll look at how the Kenya National Rally Championship took off this season, the karting championship which was held in Mai Mahu, and motocross at the Jamhuri Racetrack. Fasten your seatbelts, let's dive in. Ready when you are. Hi, my name is Tapia Laukan and you are watching our first round of Kenyan Rally Championship. So the Kenyan National Rally Championship started on a high, new entrants and of course new machines have been unveiled. Onka Rai of the Cabras Rally Team and Manvia Varian of multiple Holiers got themselves some brand new Skoda R5s for the 2017 Championship battle. The game has certainly been pushed a notch higher. Having done a few tests in it, it's, it's, it's a really fun car to drive and um, I still need to get used to it, so just, just take it easy this first two rallies and then we'll see how it goes. We need, still need to get used to the new car. It uh, handles uh, and drives very different to the, uh, the Ford, even though it's still in the same R5 category. So we just get to learn the car a little bit and then uh, maybe later in the year we can push. We can only wait to see how the shakedown goes. 2016 defending champion Mr. Heavyfoot Tapio Laukonen is not letting go of the glory and is here to defend his title. This, this is not the easy championship. Uh, there is a lot of uh, rough rallies, difficult ones and uh, hard for the car as well. So uh, you have to be lucky somehow to get to the finish uh, without any, any problems. So yeah, uh, regarding to that, uh, we had a brilliant season last year and uh, obviously trying to do similar, similar thing this year. Mombasa Motorsports Club organized the first round of the Kenya National Rally Championship with generous support from Mombasa Cement Company where the rally was held on the company's vast grounds in the Vivingo area. As if temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius was not hot enough, the competition was going to get even hotter. First on the road was the man who holds championship titles for three countries. It was a tough outing as the terrain wasn't friendly at all. Tabio Laukinen managed to hold the lead in stage one until he sadly hung his boots after a ball joint broke in the second section, making him smash into the nearby perimeter wall. Manvir Barian didn't take his teammate's exit lying down, he pulled a fast one and slid into the first position, which he held for the other three stages of the day to clinch his first ever career title win, as well as a first for the Skodia Fabia R5. Out of the 34 starters, only 12 survived the demanding course, Coming in at number 5 is Tejvir Rai, navigated by Zahir Shah, shying off from the first position by 8 minutes and 18 seconds. At number 4 is the Phil Miko racing crew of former WRC DMAC driver Karen Patel and his co-driver James Mwangi. This is by far the best result Karen has garnered in his Kenya National Rally Championship career. Sitting in Onka Rai's Evo 10 and in third place as a household name, multiple champion Carl Flash Tundo, who crossed the line in 1 hour 45 minutes and 17 seconds. And veteran driver Ian Duncan with his navigator Amar Slatch finished in second place. At the end, when the clock finally stopped for Manfield, navigated by Drew Sturrock, it was him on top of the table. It was a five years thirst that he passionately quenched during this event. It was a good day, um, kind of wished for a better result. You know, we had the right speed and um, I think uh, luck was on our side as well today. So it was just a good day. So the championship standings. It's Manbir who maintained his stranglehold in round one, a 
and takes top spot with 25 points. Followed by two former champions Duncan and Tundo in second and third respectively, Karen and Tejbir round up the top five. Round two is the mother of all rallies, the Safari Rally, which has finally made it into the international calendar, doubling up as the second round of the Africa Rally Championship. We'll have all the highlights right here on Motorsport 411. Coming up, all the best motocross action. Under new management, which is the Kenya Motorsports mm -hmm. Foundation, the East Africa Motorsports Club organized the first round of the Kenya National Motocross mm -hmm. Championship. Sounds could be heard far and wide as the bikes roared at Jamhuri Park. It was business unusual as every competitor put his best foot forward for that maiden victory. And to take us through the MX2 motocross action, over to Lindsay Takadin for the commentary. National Motocross Championship happening at Jamhuri Motocross Track, and here goes the MX2 MX125 combined race. Off to a good start there is Googie on the triple nine, but Elias on the 97 is very, very close. What happens when they come around? Yes, Elias takes the whole shot, but Googie right there behind him. Also very close is the 21 of Rolf Kihara, the 67 of Ethan Nachai, and the 51 of Orbia Mlugu. Newcomer to the MX125, Keegan Kipagat there on the 787, also looking very strong off the start. Through the berm, over the double, they will go. Elias still out in the lead, but this is lap one of many. This class does race for 18 minutes plus one lap, so plenty of racing left to go. Googie trying to make something happen as they go into that back pyramid, but Elliot stays strong and holds up the charge. Ethan, Rolf, and Arbia, nothing in between those three riders, all very, very close. There is Keegan, 787, holding his own in this race. Alex Moy on the number 11, also looking very solid. Maxi Mahome also in this race. She is the triple five and the sole lady rider during this heat. Ellie is still out in the lead and holding steady there. As they come across the front, Googie's been very quick in this section. Not able to make up any ground there. But pulling ahead slightly there is the 67 of Ethan Achai. And he's currently the MX125 leader of this heat. We're off Kihara there on the 21. And now it looks like Orbi on the 51 may have a bike issue. Keep an eye on that. So back to Elias and Googie. They are the leaders of this heat, both racing the MX2 class. Over the finish line, those boys go in front of the main grandstands there. No change yet. They're coming back through that section now. Googie's a lot closer here. Can he make something happen this time? He's going on the inside of the corner. Can he make the pass stick as they go into the burn? Oh, and it looks like Elias stalled. That lets Googie get by. Oh, what a shame for the 97 of Elias Sherman. He was really, really having a good run there. Now, this is going to give Googie a little bit of breathing room. But we'll keep our eye on the 97 and see if he can catch back up. The question is, is whether or not the 67 Ethan Achai was able to gain any ground on that mistake by the 97. Very solid run here by the triple nine of Googie Waweru the current MX2 leader of this heat. Now, Elias is back and running, but that is a lot of distance to close between him and the triple nine. Both very experienced, but Ethan Nachai closing the gap a bit on Elias. Of course, two of those riders racing in different classes, Ethan racing in the MX125 class. Now, as we watch our riders come through the finish line jump in front of the fans, this was round one of the 2017 National Motocross Championship taking place at Jamhuri Motocross Track. Round two was on February 26th. And the third round, which will be celebrating women in motocross, will take place on March 26th of 2017. Now, and still very solid on that KTM is the triple nine of Gugi Waweru. There goes Maxine Wahome, the triple five, putting in a really good run there as our only lady rider. Alex Moy on the number 11, also looking very solid in this heat. 
He looks to be trying to make that pass on the triple five. And Googie heads to the far right-hand corner of the track out of sight. We'll look to see him come through the finish line. There he goes into that first corner off the starting line. Riders really like to take that berm high. They can carry a lot more speed as they go into their jump. And there is the checkered flag, Googie taking that one. And in true form by this proven champion, giving a little show there for the crowd in appreciation for coming out and supporting before he heads off. Till next time. All right, great action from our young motocross champions. Let's hear from the MX2 winner Ngugi Waweru and first runner-up Elias Sherman. It's a long season and we're just beginning and everyone's getting really fast. So, you know, pushing the border, the boundaries and still staying safe is quite, is getting harder. So, you know, if we can do that, then it's a good season. Okay, well, it's a good start to the season. Um, we can always pick up from here. So, yeah, I can walk away with this, from this with a smile. Looking at the MX2 Championship table, Ngugi is leading with 57 points, just three points ahead of Sherman, and Rolf Kihara is third with 45 points. Let's see how the other classes performed. In the 125 class, Ethan Yachai won all heats and is now in pole position with 60 points. In the hotly contested 85cc class, James Lusa was the man to beat and he emerged the overall winner in this class. It was good for me. I came first, my first overall win in 85cc. Uh, this year was a bit shaky in the beginning last year, but it improved, to the, improved in the last races. But So now I'm just carrying on. So Lusa leads the class with 55 points. Dylan Mutahi is second with 40 points. And Vince Shreya is third with 37 points. In the 65cc, Debutant rider Jaden Takanen was peerless, winning all three rounds in spectacular fashion. It's my first race on the 65 that I've won, and I'm happy. Jaden leads the class with 60 points. Neil Wahome and Rafe Garner round up the top three positions. And finally, the youngest riders in the championship, Antonio Choda was the runaway winner in this class clinching all the heats on the day and now leads the 50cc class with 60 points. For all updates of motocross events and results, go to www.eamsc.org. Coming up, we'll head down to the Great Rift Valley circuit for some karting action. Hi, my name's Carl Tundo and you're watching Motorsport 411. The Great Rift Valley Circuit, the home of karting, hosted the first round of the Kenya National Karting Championship. Competitors set out to battle for various championships contested in the day. Missing from the track was the 60cc 2016 champion Amani Nzomo and Ryan Bailey in the junior Rotax class. Let's jump right into some karting action. Over to Paul Bailey to take us through the final heat of the hotly contested 60cc class. Okay, we're on the warm up lap for the 60cc. We've got 16 drivers in this heat. On pole position, we've got Zarab. And in second place, we've got Yash. In third place, we've got Albert Kim and Remy Kim and Nigel Muir. We're on board with Nigel. Now we'll see if we're going to get the green flag or it's going to be a red flag. They must all bunch together. So it's a flying start and now they're off. Yash goes into the lead, followed by Zaraba. All 16 drivers seem to have got through the start. We've got Remy coming on Nigel now. Now we're on board with Nigel again. Remy tries to take it on the inside. He gets lost. He's all over the place and Nigel now should take this line and he does. He gets clearly ahead. Okay, out in front is Yash, followed by Zaraba and Albert. And it's interesting now that the top five have already moved ahead. You can see Nigel's now slowing up behind. He got caught up in a little bit. You've got Zarava ahead. And then you've got Yash right behind, followed by Albert closely. Coming out the S-point bend, you've got uh, Zarava out in front. 
followed by Yash, followed by Albert, followed by Nigel now in fourth place. And you can see now they're getting ahead of him, but he'll, he'll, they'll have to fight between the lines. So coming down into the S's after the long straight, going to the corner now, coming on the inside, you've got Zarava out in front and Yash in second place. Albert in third, Nigel in fourth, Remy in fifth, and you've got some back markers now coming in, Mike, Mike Jude and the rest of the crew all coming through. A lot of guys now fighting for positions in fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. There's lots of racing going on in the middle and the back of the field. Okay, Nigel's on board now, and he's getting much, much closer to Albert now. He's fighting here for this fourth place, or third place, actually, and Zorava goes ahead, then you've got Yash, followed by Albert Kim. And then you've got Nigel, and Nigel's coming on the back of the 82 really nicely. It's going to be interesting now, this second place. It's going to be a big fight between four cards. Zorava's pulling away while the others are fighting behind him. He's getting really, really close, and there's a big bang and a touch. Who, who's going to get better from, from that? Nigel seems to be okay, but Albert seems to come out of that much better. Remy sort of like tried to dart on the inside, but then got caught. So now Zarava's really out in front. Yash is holding up second place. Albert in third. Nigel in fourth. Remy in fifth. And it's a good battle here now, watching going ahead. This is now the fight for second place ahead. You've got Yash and Albert. They're neck to neck, going into the corner. Who's going to get the better line? They're coming out of the corner now. Zarava way, way out ahead. He's just got to keep his head together, and he should get a win. We're on the last lap now. And Zarava goes ahead, maybe 50 meters ahead. And then you've got Yash and Albert and Nigel and Remy all fighting for the second place. He goes through the S-bends now at the bottom of the straight. And you've got Yash out ahead. Albert trying to go on the inside. Yash is blocking him on the inside. He gets around to the corner. It's going to be interesting now coming around the big slow hairpin. Zarava well out in front. Yash has now got to watch. He's got Albert right on his tail and Nigel. Nigel's now right up Albert and you can see Yash. It's going to be a close fight here for the second place. Three guys fight battling wheel to wheel. Going around the corner now, down onto the straight. Who's going to get in into the S-Bends? Come down into the S-Bends now. There's going to be another hairpin followed by another hairpin. And they come round, Zarava. And it's close now between Yash and Albert. Albert and Yash, wheel to wheel. Albert goes through on the inside. It's going to be interesting here. Yash has to hold this line. You're talking about two more corners until the finish flag. Yash goes round on the inside. He can't believe that move he took. Albert's going to try and come back. No, Yash must block him out. Coming down is Zarava. And then it's going to be Yash, followed by Nigel. Oh, takes Albert just at the line. Amazing racing, really cool. Fascinating action there. Let's hear from the top three, starting with Nigel Mohia, who came in third place. It was good, very close between me and Albert. I took him just by the last line. It was, it was quite a good day. Hit, hit one wasn't so good, but I did well today. In second was Yash Gohil. It was pretty tough. I was pressured by Albert who was behind me. Yeah, but I still took him on the last corner. I just want to win every race. And let's hear from the winner of the 60cc class, Zaravo Dudley. Yeah, I started first and uh, I, I got overtaken once, but I managed to overtake that person and I put a bit of, I made a bit of a gap and I won the race. Looking at the championship standings, in the 60cc, Zarava is leading with 100 points and Yash, Nigel, Albert and Remy Kim take up the privileged positions in the top five. In the Rotax class, it was also a great duel between Zav Dudley and Jason Ostrick. In the end, Zav was the outright winner in this class. Uh, yeah, the first round, it went well and we're hoping for the next round I'll also win. Jason put up a spirited fight and wasn't disappointed with his second place. The final was really good. Um, I, got, I came really close to him and tried overtaking him in the last few corners, but I just didn't get it and uh, just finished second overall. Newcomer in the Rotax class, Rory McKean in cart number 25 was happy to have clinched third place. I had a great start. I pulled away from William and at the end of the race I was catching Zav and Jason. So looking at the championship, Zav is in first place scoring 100 points, Jason has 29 points and Rory has 80 points. William Kim is fourth and it's great to see two female drivers, Krishma and Matanya, fighting it out with the boys in fifth and sixth place respectively. 
in the Sodi class, Nia Shah emerged the winner. Only three competitors were in this class, with Gunjit and Joseph taking second and third positions in the championship. Final up was like all clear, so there was no one in front of me or behind me. So basically like had more momentum, more space. Well that wraps up this edition of Motorsport 411. On behalf of Lindsay Takanen and Paul Bailey, keep it here for the very best of motorsports action in Kenya and East Africa. I'm Sean Carter Villas.